Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, let me check in out one of your commentations. This is Amen did that answers. Why do you claim Islam to be the true religion? Hmm. Guys, let's go straight into this. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Dr. Didat, what day is it today? <laughs> is that the... That's all, let's, uh, uh, just, give me just one thing, minute, please. Uh, I'm going to allow you one question, so please ask the pertinent question. And yes. Otherwise, if you're going to have one I leading to, up, I, I might want, stop you at the wrong place. That's right. I want to relate it to the scripture. I want to know what day it is today. All right, I can answer that to you. Thank you. It's Tuesday, the 12th. It is Tuesday, the 12th. Right. Home, 1900? 88. 88. When has that started? What means 1988? No, 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 no. Uh, you're referring to the year of the Lord type of thing. The Lord. Yeah, but no, I've the Lord this. has created that day when the start of the Bible, of the New Testament. From that day, when you go back <coughs> to history, 640 years has the Quran been written. All right, but now what is the Yesaya, question? Yesaya, sorry. Uh, what is your question? To you? My question is, how do you know what you believe is true? Thank you. Thank you. Right. You see, there are numerous, numerous reasons which makes me to believe that this book is true. Numerous reasons. Number one, this book was given through a man who didn't know how to read or write. What we call an ummi in Arabic, unlettered. He brought this book about. The very physical size of this book. If this was Muhammad's production compared to the Holy Bible, 40 different authors wrote this book. 40 different people went along to produce this book. This is one man's job. One man's failure. <laughs> Who said that? I said that. Which man? Who said that? No, 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 thank you. Please, 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 don't do that. You see, this book, this book supplies the answer to what Jesus said. He said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. This book guides mankind into all truth, meaning solves all your problems. The Holy Bible doesn't do that. Jesus Christ himself, he says, I've got many things to say, and you are incapable of receiving it. And he didn't give you, and nor uh, the Holy Ghost has told any church in, uh, in this past 2,000 years, solution to the problem of race. Solution to the problems of alcoholism. Solution to the problem of surplus women. There are dozens of problems to which this book does not give an answer. Whereas Jesus Christ prophesied that there's somebody coming after me and it is he who will give you solution to all your problems. Then in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 12, you read there a prophecy. It says, and the book, the book is given to him that is not learned. And Ummi saying, Iqra, read. And he says, Ma anabi qari'in. He said, I'm not learned. The book, what book is, is he talking about? Which prophet said, I am not learned? Now, if you read the history of Muhammad, his life, the first revelation that was given to him in the cave of Hira, the archangel Gabriel comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, Iqra, read. And he says, Ma anabi qari'in. I'm not learned. A word for word fulfillment from the book of Isaiah. Then in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 19, it says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he, that prophet mentioned in 1818, speaks in my name, so I will require it of him. Now, he said, that prophet speaking in my name, in whose name is Muhammad speaking? The Lord's name. No, 
It says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. So, Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of God most gracious most merciful kul a'udhu bi nas Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim every chapter of the Quran begins with the formula in the name of God most gracious most merciful that these are all the fulfillments which goes to prove that the Quran is the word of God Alladheena <laughs> yattabi'oona Guys this was actually shocking this is the first time I'm seeing Isaiah 29 verse 12. With this, I pray thee and his and he said, I cannot for it is sealed. The book and the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Saying, with this, I pray thee and he said, I am not learned. Guys, I really need like I feel goosebumps right now. Me just checking this out. Like I really need to check this verse out. I really need to read the whole of Isaiah. Like, right now, like, I think after this video, immediately I cut it. I'm picking up my phone there and I'm checking this out because, bro, I, guys, I, yeah, I don't to like, share, go to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.